All right, today we're going to learn how to retouch and properly label our final retouched images for the yearbook. So here we have um, Andy Obert, who graduated last year. And uh, you can see up here the file is last name, comma, first name, space, teacher, space, period, dash, 1005.jpg. So when you finish retouching your photo, this is how you're going to rename it with the exact spaces and you're gonna leave this number alone after the dash because that's the number that corresponds with the original file that we uh, took so that we know who's who so that's important that you leave that alone it's also really important that you get the last name spelled correctly the first name spelled correctly the teacher all of this is really important otherwise it's really hard to find the right person if you call her Oberts with an S, then it doesn't come up right and it's mislabeled in the yearbook. And so, this is a good way to keep everything organized and make the yearbook photos go smooth. So, here we have our file when you're going through and retouching. And we're going to zoom in. And if you're new to retouching, we're going to use the spot healing brush, which is this band aid with the circle here, the little dotted line. And it works a lot like a brush. Basically, you can use the bracket keyboards on your computer to resize the shape of or the size of the brush. And basically, you want to come in and look for any blemishes and resize it so that it fits right over the blemish. And just simply click on any blemishes that we want to clean up. And Photoshop does a really good job of matching the area around it and getting ready getting rid of the blemishes that we don't want so simply click on those it's really easy resize your brush to get the whole blemish in there alright what you don't want to do is drag like this because it adds weird stuff it's just not a good technique so we'll undo that it's much cleaner and safer to just retouch it like this using the clicking method like so and that looks pretty good maybe a couple of areas right here we can clean up any really obvious blemishes that they probably wouldn't want if you get some sunspots you can kinda help those out a little bit that's pretty good and just keep an eye out that your cloning or your um, retouching tool isn't adding any weird spots to your subject something like that so that's looking good once you get to there now we want to save as so we're going to come up here to save as the shortcut is shift command s or you can click here and now is where you're going to rename your file so we're going to put for last name obert and then leave the spaces exactly the way you see them, the commas exactly the way you see them. Andy, teacher is going to be their English teacher. So here's where we would put Shingler. Oops, see how I misspelled that? Double check. Really important. And the period that they have English, that should be on your sheet there. So period Shingler, period two. And then you want to leave the dash 1005 there and then you want to save it to a different folder uh, you'll probably create a folder called retouched images so and you already have this I like to put a little underscore and we'll put retouched seniors like so and then that's where we'll save our final image to save Well, uh, you can do a quality of 11 or 12, like so. And now it should be in that new folder, which over here, Retouch Seniors, should have Obert, comma, Andy, Shingler 2, dash 1005. Be very careful, double check all that. It's really important to keep it organized, otherwise we can't find them and bad things happen. But that's how you're going to retouch and label for your... AP work for the yearbook and if you have any questions please ask me